You sent for me? Yes, I did. My dear, there's something I want you to have at the back of your mind. You see, things are no longer the way they used to be. Uh, your move yesterday gave your mother and I a lot of food for thought. Oh, please, please, Dad. I'm old enough to take care of myself. Oh, do you people want me to go back to London? Oh, no, Princess. It has not gotten to that. You see, since you came back from the white man's land, your mother and I have been observing you. We've been waiting for you to rest and up so that we can discuss what we're about to discuss with you now. My princess, I want you to listen to your father and consider what he's saying. But mom, he has not said anything yet. Yes, I know I have not said anything yet. Your mother and I have been thinking of the best way to welcome you from the white man's land. Uh, the first thing we thought about was, uh, let, let us give you an automobile, uh, one that is, is good enough for a princess. And it's a little product. Thank you so much, Daddy. Thank you. Thank you, Mom. You're welcome, my dear. And that is not all. You see, when a girl gets to a certain age, people begin to ask questions as to who her husband is. That also we have taken care of. Yes. A highly placed young man. Responsible. Reputable. And above all, well connected. The governor's son. Princess, your wedding will be the highest ever. Almost all the governors will be present. Ministers, you name it. Dad? Yes? I'm surprised that you're reasoning. How could you be reasoning like that in this modern age? Gone are the days when people find husband and wife for people. People go for what they want these days, Mom. Sorry, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to insult you, but please, Dad, count me out. Please, excuse me. Our governor is actually doing his best for our community. Good afternoon, sir. Thank you. Princess? Yeah. Your Majesty. Um, <laughs> Mama, Papa. Princess here is the only daughter of the King of Agabi Kingdom. No. Your Highness. You are highly Thank welcome. welcome. Thank you. Your Highness. My parents. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, do I offer you a seat? Oh, no. I, I'm okay. Can I see you? Oh. Excuse me. Your Majesty. Yeah. So, uh, how are you? Well, I am okay. God is in control. Yeah, I can see that. What course did you study eventually? I, I trained as a medical doctor. Oh. I'm now attached to Mount Zion Medical Hospital. Oh. <laughs> well, I'm not surprised. Thank God you made it at last. Well, needless asking you how you are. Cascade, you, you look... Awesome. Thank you, thank you. Thank so, you. Um, Your Majesty, what do I offer you? Oh, no. I. The main fact that I met you is enough cool. <laughs> Make me shy. <laughs> Guess I have to take my leave now. Okay, um, I have the pleasure of working the princess. Of course, yeah. Uh, I'm going. So quick. Martin. Mama? Didn't you offer her something? No, it's okay. Hey. Okay. Hi, my All right, bye. Let me walk you, princess. Can I walk you, princess? Of course. Hello, princess. Now, um, why would my princess be walking and unaided by no one? 
That is how the princess wishes to. And if I may ask, who is the princess talking to? Well, my name is Tony. Uh, I'm the governor's son and by the grace of God, the son to the next vice president of this great country, you know. That's because of the zoning system. Well, um, enough of the introductions. Um, the nitty gritty is that I did come here to see you. It has not clicked yet. I'm so surprised. Um, your father is supposed to have told you. Well, anyway, um, I want to marry you. Well, I'm very, very sorry I'm saying it right here, but see, I can't help it. Um, you see, my dear, I want to show you what the real world looks like, you know. And um, our wedding will be one of those, you know, fairy tale weddings. And um, believe me, my darling, you, know, you tangoing with me will build no regrets. Really? Yeah, trust me, what? You know what? What is it? I pity the less privilege whom you deceive with your cheap life. At first, I thought you were a gentleman, but now I know you are the biggest fool I've ever seen in my whole life. Excuse me. Did she just say that to me? Who does the princess think she is? Let's go. Let's, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Princess, you're not eating. Ah, uh, I am. This is honestly, uh, that very day you came to our place, I was surprised. I mean, I was wondering what, how, I mean, how you were able to locate me after all that while. Wow. Surprised. Well, if you don't know, ever since we were in school, I always had my eye on you. Yeah. So you don't have to be a surprise. So how's everything? Oh, uh, everything is fine. Right? Yeah. Martin? Yeah? What I'm about to ask you might surprise you, but I have to. Yeah, what's it? Tell me about your love life. You know, I mean, the woman in your life now. <laughs> Her Majesty. There's no woman in my life. Honestly, the, the only woman in my life now is my job, my medical profession. Are you sure? Hello, I have no reason to lie. Come on. I have no reason. I see. Um, actually, Martin, I just want you to know that you have a place in my heart. Yeah. I mean, I treasure you so much. Honestly, I'm, I'm flattered because I, I don't think I deserve all this you're saying. Why not? Considering your level and my level. Oh, come on, Martha. Forget about level and all that. I believe in equality. Just hear me out first, okay? Please. Her oh, Majesty, come on, go on. Thank you. I'm overwhelmed. Yeah, you see, Martha, honestly, I won't lie to you. I've always been dreaming, you know. You may have noticed that for some time I've not bothered about your movements in this town. But I think it's high time you stop seeing that matching of a man. Father? Yes. You heard me and I mean it. Okay? I don't want you to see that boy again. Don't you know who you are? Huh? A princess of Agabi Kingdom dating an ordinary medical doctor who has no reputation? A little riffraff? Father, Martin may be poor, but he's not a riffraff. He may be an ordinary doctor, but he has reputation. He has honor, integrity. I'm going to marry him. Come rain, come shine. Princess, let me assume that you have not understood what I am talking about. The governor's son is a better person to marry the daughter of the king of Agabi. 
even when the governor's son does not have love and conscience? Princess, we must give this thing a trial first. Father, the eye is the easiest window to the heart. I have seen his heart through his eyes. He has no love, no conscience. He's too proud of himself. And above all, arrogant. Princess, all these things can be taken care of. All I'm interested in is in the future of my daughter. You see, marrying the governor's son is a future guaranteed. Listen, that boy could become a vice president tomorrow, or even the president himself. Listen, daughter, I want you to think about it. Give it a thought. Because it is necessary for you to make the right choice so that you don't suffer in the future. Your Highness. Yes. Dr. Martin is here to see the princess. Oh, send Tell him in. I'll see him right away. Send him in. Father. Princess. Do you know what? Hi. My princess. Good to see you. Good to see you. Come on, let's go in. Yeah. Come on. I presume that you are the father of Dr. Martin. He, 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 yes. He's my son. Is anything the matter, Your Highness? How much do I give you for you to stop your son from seeing my daughter? Your Highness, I don't understand. You mean you don't know that my royal daughter is dating your son? How much? Oh, you mean you're not capable of talking to your son? My dear, it's not that. Mark! One million. Your Highness. All right. Two million. Three million. Money is not the issue, Your Highness. From this moment, my son, we stop seeing the princess. Yes, yes. So be it. Stand here. <laughs> My princess. <laughs> My princess. What is the problem? Huh? <laughs> Talk to me, your father. Talk to me. I dare say. Mommy is here. Talk to us. Princess, what is the problem? Why do you want to compound my problems? What is it? What has Martin done wrong? Is it because they are poor? Or is it now he cried for one to be poor father? When I was young, he was so caring. What has happened to those affection and love? Never you ever mention that boy's name in my presence again. Did you hear that? Your Highness, please consider. Consider what? Consider what? I see you. Both of you are in this together. It's all right. Father. Yes. I want to make you a promise. If it is not Martin, then be ready to receive my cups. Pleasantries. That's alright, go away. Neither have I come here to listen to your cheap lies. Listen, young man, watch your tongue, okay? And take it very easy. All is not lost. The princess is still there for you. Who are you trying to deceive? You or me? The princess has been married to that doctor for some time now. No wonder you didn't make it an elaborate wedding. You never wanted me to know, right? You cheap dude. 
listen, young man. I want you to realize that you're talking to the king. The king, my foot! 